Hi and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. My name is Samantha and in this series of videos I will be looking to make some fantastic recipes, putting together a food plan or a weekly meal plan menu for you which you can share with your family. Now this week I'm really impressed with some of these recipes. I've worked hard to incorporate a lot of the spices and herbs and flavours and things that you can buy within this budget but also things that you're then going to be able to throw back into your stock cupboard so you've got them for future reference for future meals which means that you don't then have to go out and buy them again but the kind of things that I'm choosing are family favourites they're the kind of things that will go with so many different recipes and be really pleasing to a lot of the kids as well because they're usually the fussy eaters aren't they I've got my budget of £40 this week and I'm going to come up with seven recipes which incorporate all these ideas some are fun some are simple some of them are going to look more complicated than they actually are and I'll show you how to make them so that they're really easy and really delicious as well now what I'm planning on doing is having a look at my usual typical supermarket for prices but I know for a fact that there's some ingredients that I cannot get in Tesco's because I use them regularly in my own cooking anyway and I know where I can get them from it's worth a little trip out to a couple of these places if you can get there I'll get them delivered off Amazon on the probably going to be a similar kind of price if you can do that as always these prices are correct at the time of me filming this video and I will link and write everything down in the comment section below for how much things cost and where I bought them from so you can do the same first job is I'm going to create my grocery list I'm going to get everything down on that and then I'm going to take you shopping we're going to go and get some of these ingredients let you know exactly how much it's all come to and we we'll start to put together our menu plan for the week because even though these are the things I want to do as per always, things that happen is that the ingredients are out of stock. It might be that I can get something in the reduced section. So sometimes I might try and sway my eye. I'm going to try and avoid doing that just so that you've got the same consistent prices because of course those whoopsie items are not guaranteed when we actually get into store. So it'll give you a realistic view. Now the great thing is I've put a £40 budget for this food shop, but actually realistically the cost per meal for your family of four will be significantly less than what I'm pricing it at because I'm buying whole things. I'm going to price it up as buying a full jar of something or a whole bag of something, but actually I'm not going to be using the whole portion of that. And some of these things, as I've already mentioned, will be able to be rolled over into another week and you're going to be able to start to put these into Arsenal once you get really confident and more comfortable with using some of these items, these spices and herbs and things. And you'll find that they start to bring just your simple meals right alive. So without further ado, let's write down my shopping list, then let's get shopping, and then we're going to come back and put together our menu plan. And I'll show you some of those recipes being made as well. Right, so I've quickly gone and jotted down all the ingredients that I want to buy today off camera just to save a little bit of time so you don't have to watch me do that. But just to clarify, some of these things you might already have in your cupboards at home or in stock or in your freezer. I do know I've already got chili flakes, soy sauce, plain flour, probably a couple of other things as well if I look. So when I do go shopping, I'm not going to go and buy them again. I'm not going to rebuy them because that would be foolish. A lot of these, as I already mentioned, you might be able to just reuse again later on. Chili flakes are great for loads of things. You know, the soy sauce, the chicken stock concentrate, you'll be able to reuse in lots of other recipes as well as you get more confident with this. So they're a great investment in terms of that. So I'm going to go and grab bags and go and get shopping and then I'll put together a meal plan based off of what I've actually been able to buy because of course it needs to be a little bit flexible in case they haven't got these things in stock but we'll see where we get to see what we can get Okay, and that is how we shop done. And the total price for all of these things is £37.30. Now, I did have to go to several different stores. I went to Marks and Spencers, I went to Asda, and I went to Tesco's as well because I wanted to get these ingredients. I knew I could only get certain things at Marks and Spencers, and this chicken stock concentrate is absolutely incredible, and it does such an amazing job of lifting 
all of your dishes. It sounds quite a lot of money. I think it worked out to about £3.30 or something like that. But actually, you use so little of it, and it's so much better in terms of flavour and everything else than just basic stock cubes. If you would take one thing only away from these videos, is this secret little hack that I've got of your Marks and Spencer's concentrate stock. And they don't just do chicken, they do vegetable as well. I'm pretty sure there's a beef and a lamb in one in there, but chicken one's the one I tend to go for because I use that quite a lot in my recipes as well as the vegetable one. Uh, yeah, it's worth the investment. Right, let's get stuck into my meal plan for the week then. You can see what I'm going to be making. I've purposely chosen items that I can use several times throughout the week because that's going to help me and again as I expect I'm not going to use all the rice I expect I'm not going to use all my frozen veg that I've got in there I'm going to be able to keep those for extra things throughout the week throw them out in have some leftovers perhaps you can use those for your lunches whatever it's a nice way of saving money I put in one of these recipes i just thought it might be a fun thing to kind of do with the children and also it's a right easy one to do and also it's really easy and simple the children love doing it the children love eating it and although yeah i could have created something else that utilizes some more of these ingredients that i've already got I just thought this was a fun thing for them to do so that's what we're going to go with i'll go into it in more detail and then let's get in to some of those recipes right so let's start to put together our plan for the week. Now the way I do it, I try and think of things that I can use and maybe reuse again the next day or make the most of something else. I'm going to start with one of the pasta dishes which is the tuna pasta bake and I've got mac and cheese down here as well as a as an A side because my kids love both of those things and they're really easy to do and really simple. I'm going to put them in at the beginning of the week where I might have a busy school week something like that so I can probably batch make this on Sunday then just throw it in the oven so it's ready to go. So it's quite a simple dishes as well to do so we've got the tuna pasta bake I'm gonna go in here and once you've cooked all that pasta off put half of it to one side I'm gonna use it for the mac and cheese now I'm not actually gonna use proper macaroni pasta because I want to just utilize the pasta I've got in here is the penne pasta it was the best offer that they had on there it was about 40 something pence I think it was now I've got mozzarella and which I've got earmark for something else but we could possibly throw some of that into here as well i've got the cheddar plan for this i'm using the flour to make a roux and the butter and that's all that the butter and the flour is going to be used for it's not even real butter it's just the, the fake butter to make a nice roux to make a right nice cheese sauce and this will be delicious if you wanted to throw in some of this frozen mixed veg that we bought you could do that because there's going to be plenty of it left over. The next thing is going to get a little bit more interesting just because I've got a little bit more time. This is the Thai roasted chicken with roasted vegetables. We've got potatoes, red onion, carrots, red pepper, chicken, thyme and chicken stock. First, dice those potatoes into wedges with oil, salt and get them in the oven. Slice and dice those vegetables, add some oil, some thyme and a little bit of salt to your chicken breasts. Pop them to one side, adding some oil to your vegetables. Let's get those in the oven with some salt. And then we're just going to pan fry off these chicken breasts. We're not going to completely cook them just yet. We're going to add a little bit of colour to the outside, make them nice and golden brown and sealing in all those flavours. So then they're going to be so delicious and juicy. Once they are covered on both sides we're going to pop them onto that pre-roasted vegetables sprinkle on a little bit more thyme and then get these back into the oven whilst they are cooking we are going to add some water to the bottom of this pan to get all those juices add in your chicken concentrate stock and give it a bit of a whirl then we're just going to bring it to the boil before plating everything up these wedges are super crunchy and delicious and honestly these chicken and vegetables were so tender and so tasty and the sauce that we made with the leftover juices from the pan it just gets drizzled over the top and it just adds a little bit of something extra to this dish and oh let me tell you this was honestly such a delicious but easy dish to make I can't wait to make this again and then just to switch things up a little bit we're going to go for some bagel pizzas which is essentially you bagels are cut in half the kids love making these spread them with your tomato puree put on some of that cheddar put on some of the mozzarella if you like other things on it and you've got them then throw them on there as well but they will be so happy with these cheesy tomato or pizza bagels and they'll really enjoy it too if you've got some mixed herbs you can maybe put some oregano on it something else to lift it again Maybe you've got some tuna left over that could go on whatever you like to do then we're going to go back in and have another chicken dish we've got the sweet sticky chicken with sugar snaps and rice and the ingredients include rice diced chicken breast corn flour some ketchup and some brown sugar rice vinegar soy sauce and some chili flakes as well as some water and salt and pepper for the sauce 
First, get that rice cooking while we do everything else, and then we're gonna pan fry our chicken breast. And whilst it's cooking, also adding those sugar snaps, peas, give them a bit of a stir and let them do their thing. Start to put that sauce together with some corn flour and the soy sauce. Give this a whisk together, and this will help to really thicken our sauce later on. Add rice wine vinegar, tomato ketchup, brown sugar, and the water, and bring it all together and pour it all over your chicken and sugar snaps peas, which is now cooked off. And let me tell you, this was the simplest dish ever to make. It looks so pretty as well. Drizzle over any leftover juices. And if you've got some spare chili flakes, you can add those too if you like a little bit of extra heat. This was another delicious dish, and it really was so fantastic and really healthy as well. If you're craving some sort of Chinese takeaway, this is a great alternative. This is the beef meatballs and a Cajun tomato sauce. So I grab some potatoes, a garlic clove, some Cajun spice, some chicken concentrate paste, cheddar, broccoli, 20% minced beef, tin of tomatoes. I used up some of those frozen vegetables that I bought as well at the beginning of the week. And I also threw in some extra breadcrumbs that I had left over lying around in the cupboard, but you don't necessarily need those. It just adds a little bit of extra. Dice the whole potatoes into one centimeter cubes and boil. Mix together the tomato puree, breadcrumbs if you have them, and the minced beef and add in some cheddar and half of that Cajun spice and give it a really good mix until you can make it into meatballs. Drizzle with some olive oil and get them in the oven. Let's put some more oil and garlic crushed into a saucepan. Add the tin tomatoes and that chicken stock with the water and the rest of that Cajun spice. Give it a good whirl and mash up those potatoes now that they are cooked. Look at this coming together. It was so nice and scrumptious and those meatballs were really tasty and juicy as well. You could add some chili flakes if you wanted to, but honestly, this was perfect just as it was. And then finally, we're gonna use the leftover chicken and veg and, and chicken stock and everything else and make a really simple chicken pot pie. Just top it with that already pre-made puff pastry and it's quite a fun dish to have on a Sunday. All the fam can get around the table, all dig in and it's a really nice thing to do bring everyone together at the end of the week. So that is it, that is everything done. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, leave a comment in the comment section below. Let me know what else you'd like me to work with. Have you got a budget in mind? Let me know which supermarket you'd like me to go and check out. Thanks so much, have yourself an amazing day, and I'll see you really soon. Bye.